thank you so much for taking the time to be here on this momentous occasion. And before I go on, I was going to mention everyone that is here, but my staff just gave me a three page paper. So I'm just gonna mention a few people and, I, and forgive me if I don't mention everybody, but please be patient. We have of course with us, Mayor Sam Licardo. Yay! Just joining us, Council Member Ash Talra. Assembly Member Kansen Chu, RSVP, I don't know if he's still here or if he just got here. Darcy Green, President of Santa Clara County Office Board of Education. Omar Torres, Franklin McKinley School District Board Member. Yay! Former Vice Mayor Madison Wynn. We have Andres Quintero and Isa Herrera from Alam Rock Unified School District. We have our superintendent from Eastside Unified High School District, Mr. Chris Funk. We have Adal Lupercio, Government Relations for Rocket Ship. Yay. Dr. Jose Gonzalez, Principal of Mount Pleasant Elementary School. Greg Littman, Ace Charter School. We have Mr. Roy Avila, Story Road Business Association. Chao Samante and all of Luna. Akeli Rios. Interim Director of PRNS Youth Connections Foundation, please give them a loud round of applause. We have Mr. Ernesto Tejerano from Shepherd PTO. All of our rocket ship ace alpha parents. Where are you? Keek Tovar, Keek Tovar, providing wonderful futsal experiences for our youth. Ooh, we want yeah. you here. We have PACT. We're packed. We have our Captain Mata. Thank you so much for keeping us safe. We have many other, we have many other neighborhood leaders, union leaders, and nonprofit organizations present. And I want to acknowledge all of you, but in the interest of time, I'm going to continue, but I appreciate your presence. I want all of you to look around and acknowledge each other, pat each other on the back, shake each other's hand, exchange business cards. <laughs> These are the folks that invest in our community and they invest in our children. They know the importance of tomorrow's future. They are standing right behind me. These are our future engineers, our doctors. These will be the ones that will cure us of our Alzheimer's and cancer, who will address issues of diabetes and chronic conditions, who will address issues of social injustices and will make the world right. These are our investments. These are our future. Yeah. Since taking office nearly six months ago, the reactivation of city resources at this center has been at the top of my agenda. With the actions of the mayor and my colleagues on the city council this upcoming Tuesday, this center will finally move toward a hybrid system that includes extended weekday hours and the activation of Saturday programming. The families of this community, thank you, yes, yes. The families of this community need a location of hope where all of our children can depend on a safe place to enjoy sports, education, and enriching activities. This is wonderful news for the youth, parents, and neighbors of the Alam Rock community. And as many of you know, years ago, because of budget shortfalls, this center was deactivated. The Alam Rock Youth Center was a community investment since its inception. So when the doors closed, it was heartbreaking. This area, this area of the city has been identified as a hotspot for gang activity and crime. For East San Jose residents, families, and youth, the use and activation of this facility is not just a bonus or just another activity for after school or on the weekends as it may be in other areas of our city. It goes much further than that. For many families, it means the difference between making it or not. And in some cases, it is the difference between life or death. 
re-engaging our youth in e San Jose is the responsibility of all of us. Moving forward with ongoing funding for city programming at this center is not only beneficial to e San Jose residents, but the entire city. The community once again has a center they can rally around. And why is that? Because it's the East Side Way. Yeah. I am incredibly thankful and excited for those who have championed this center. And they sat with me for many hours, many meetings, during my campaign, after I was elected, and even after I was sworn in. And that's packed youth connections in the Eastside Unified School District who are with us today. But ultimately, we would not be here today if Mayor Sam LaCarta would not have accepted my budget proposal for the activation of the center. His actions to include this in his June budget message show all of us that we do not just have one, but yet another Eastside advocate at City Hall. With that said, I would like to introduce to you your mayor of our great city of San Jose, Mayor Sam LaCarta. So many brilliant people standing right behind me. Uh, you know, I said in my State of the City message just a couple months ago that the sun rises in the east. And as the east rises, it will lift the entire city. And I am so grateful to be here, this wonderful community, talking about how we're restoring services. We know it's been a long drought, but you've got a great advocate here in Council Member Magdalena Carrasco. And she is doing extraordinary work already in just her first five months in office. Uh, we are doubling down on our future here in San Jose. And our future, our most important asset in our future, of course, our children. And that's why on July 1st, with the council's approval of the budget message, we'll be opening libraries no longer four and a half days a week, but six days a week. the leadership of the head of our Parks and Recreation Department, Angel Rios, is standing behind me. Uh, we'll be getting back into the game of after-school programs in this city as we're investing $2 million, focusing on extended day learning in schools, focusing in our communities where we know families do not have the resources for these programs. And that's why we're also vastly expanding our efforts to expand job opportunities for teens. We're focusing on teenagers living in the most gang impacted neighborhoods and in partnership with the county and a lot of private sector partners, we're gonna get over 800 teenagers employed this summer. And of course at the core of it is our incredible youth centers, our community centers right here uh, on the east side where we know we can provide a safe place where children can learn, they can engage in healthy activities. We're thrilled to have incredible nonprofit partners. Uh, we're great, great partnerships with our school. I saw Chris Funk standing behind me, superintendent east side here. Uh, incredible faith-based uh, initiatives that we're partnering with our Mayor's Gang Prevention Task Force. Uh, I see Pastor Danny Sanchez. So many folks who are helping us help the community, and I am so grateful that we've got an incredible community here on the east side. Thank you.